Hey guys, thanks for watching Phoenix 21 Studios. Today on the WK2 Jeep, we've got the chrome delete for the rear tail lights, which you're going to need for this, possibly, depending on what you bought, is the drill bit and a number two Allen key, and I'll go over why later. To start with the rear, you've got these little plastic pullouts. I always use the screwdriver or something flat there. I like to rotate it out like this. Sometimes they can be a little bit difficult to pull out, so. Use a little plier, pull that on out. That's the only thing that holds the outer side tail light in. You're just going to give it a good little tug and it's going to pull out. Then you're going to disconnect these light bulb connectors they're really standard so pull the red pin out press in you can pull them out once you have it out you're gonna be looking for this little hex key screw some people call it an allen it's a hex six-sided be gentle with it it is easy to round off once you get that out of the way start to pull that plastic cr chrome piece off and it is held on with some adhesive so it's gonna take some force to get this off but you you'll get a feel for it when you get your hands on it start on this side and just pull back slowly this side was a little bit different than the other because some of the chrome came off with the adhesive it was just on there really really tight and that's okay the way that it pulled off it, it was only on the back side you can see there you could still keep these and sell them or if you wanted to plastic dip them have another set so get the new piece I got these off Amazon for $50 included all four bezels it matches up really really well it's probably a 9 out of 10 how well it fits the only problem was that the spot where that hex key screw went into was not a perfect fit so here I'm cleaning it off I don't want any of that uh, road grime residue left on there because you see the the double-sided tape is going to attach to that one spot so I'm cleaning it off really well Here I'm showing you that the the factory OEM is threaded for the screw and the one I bought off Amazon. The hole is just a little bit too small to get that screw started so I got a drill bit and I just drilled it enough to get it started to where the threads of the screw would start to bite in. I believe it's a 3.5 millimeter. So really gentle here. You don't want to too much force behind it, just enough to where you can get your screw started. Overall, this is a pretty easy job to do this. It probably took about one hour. There, that new screw is getting threaded in. It'll take a little bit of force, but once you get it on there, it bites down, and that's really what holds it on that double-sided tape is just a little bit extra backup to pull this panel off is what you got to do to get to the inside lights and this little blue tool is your best friend when pulling these trim pieces off this whole piece is intimidating for some people but it just pops off here's all the connection points get some force on it it pops off and it will still be connected in on your dome lights here so you will have to disconnect those Try to not let it free hang with all the weight on these when you take it off. Have someone help you hold this piece up while you take these off. The inside lights are only held on by these four nuts. Uh, there are two on the inside. Here and here. 
and the tool on the outside. Those are 10 millimeter. Those are actually really easy to get to. You will need a deep well socket for that. Using that trim piece again. This you this takes a little bit of force to get off because it, it's like it has some adhesive on it. Uh, give it a good tug and it does come off. This connector is different. This is not a hex. This is a Torx. And I got lucky. I did have a Torx 10 laying around and that fit perfectly. Yeah, Torx 10. There it is. And you'll just take that out. It's the same process as the other one. I'm going to unscrew it. And then this has a little bit more force than the other one. This, this doesn't feel good to be pushing this hard on this piece to get it to detach, but I managed to do it one hand for this video. You can use your trim piece if you need to, because you do want to do this slowly. You don't want to just rip it off of there. See what long strips that the factory used compared to the the one you buy off Amazon and luckily the one on Amazon the double-sided tape is placed in different locations so it doesn't overlap the old adhesive. This is what it looks like when it's finished. Overall doing this was difficulty we would, we would say this is not difficult to do. If you can turn a wrench you can do this. I'm going to put the link in the description where I bought these off Amazon. $50. I think it just looks better. I, I don't like the look of fake chrome. So thanks for watching and check back for more videos.